I think we all hope that the weather for this year's Open Championship at Royal Troon won't be as bad as the weather we suffered at Royal Lytham last year. If you remember, we had to go into a fifth day there, the Monday, because the whole of the Saturday's play was washed out by rain. But in the end, I think uh, that lost day, the misery of it, was more than compensated for by the exciting events on the final day, the quality of the golf, and even the sun came out to bless the climax of a fine championship. This was the situation after the third round. Nick Price was seven under par at the top, leading by two strokes from Nick Faldo and Seve Ballesteros, with Sandy Lyle three strokes off the lead. The rest, they were some way behind. Well, the leader, Nick Price, made a rather shaky start. He was in sand at the second. He dropped a shot there. At the par five sixth, he got it back, back to seven under. Seve Ballesteros, well, he parred the first five holes and then made his first pounce with a birdie at the sixth to go six under. Nick Faldo missed a very short putt for par at the second to go back to four under, but birdies at the third and another at the sixth pulled him back level with Seve at six under. Sandy Lyle played par golf all the way to the sixth, a birdie there got him to five under, and then at the long seventh came another birdie opportunity. And that got Sandy to six under. The American, Fred Couples, was the only man from the pack who seriously threatened the top four. He chipped him from a bunker at the first for a birdie, dropped a shot at the second, but now at the third, he's again off the green with his second. Oh, that beautiful shot put him one under par. An eagle at the sixth got him to three under, and on the long seventh, this putt is for another eagle. Get in. Yes. Come on. Yes. Yeah. So now he was five under and challenging the front runners. Let's join the leader, Nick Price, his second shot to the par five seventh. He's under, oh, it's come on nicely. Oh, that was very nice. That was very nicely done. Have we got it? Cool, let me try. Well, we saw him put it absolutely stone dead at the 50. He has no idea how close that is. Going to come in off the bank on the left. Oh, he's coming in very nice. Now this could go in. Ooh. I can't see the bottom of the flag, so that's not too shabby, though, is it? Now he'll aim almost along the cut of the green. You'll see from the way he lines up. Look at that, almost going sideways. You see where the mowers cut on the, the right-hand side. Just watch the run of this ball. Still, he's miles away from getting it right. Hmm. Oh, look, he just slid across the face of the hole. So, uh, nothing sort of desperate on paper because he got a par. He hasn't got to let that bother him, but uh, all too often he looks as if a lot of things bother him. Seve has this putt for an eagle. Just on the right, if he could nick this one in. Yeah. Yeah. Master Price, and he does, it's an eagle three. By go, we've seen a plenty of them today. Remember Price, uh, has got a putt also for an eagle. Seve, though, is at this moment savouring the fact that he's eight under par. Looks very neat and tidy. His hand's just a little bit ahead of the ball. Nice, firm, firm-looking hands and wrists. But everything he, he does is rather quick. The stroke, a little quick. There you go, smoothly done. Two eagles and Price. Ahead by one at nine under. 
He's got to be careful of this ridge that's just short of the green. Can easily kick the ball off to the left. Again, it's a question of stopping the ball in time. Oh, stopped it almost. Well, he stopped it too quickly. He's about six, seven yards short of the flag. But nicely played. No, on the ninth green, Sandy Lyle. Sandy, whose tee shot was in one of those uh, deep pot bunkers, played a beautiful sand shot. And unfortunately, he hit that rather quickly. Well, that's sad because uh, the ninth, not one of the most difficult holes on the course. And he knows from the leaderboards all around the greens that uh, that has been a very expensive putt. Back to five under. Four behind the leader. Savvy for a three. This would take him into a tie for the lead. He's coming up the green, putting much quicker than he was six months ago. And, 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 thank you very much. Thank you. The paellas are on me. That was a very sweet three. And I must say, he's looking very good. Perhaps history will repeat itself. A price down the shaft. A little thumpy, punchy, pushy one in. Just sort of fallen off the fairway. Get back. Go. Oh, shot. Now, Seve, something for him to aim at there. Price uh, is not giving up at all. And more power to him. He's struck the ball very well. Yeah, not bad. Uh, should have gone the other way, should have moved to the right, didn't. Chance for a three. Goes ten under. Five under for the day. Birdie at six, Eagle at seven, Birdie at eight, Birdie at ten. And now, Price. So they have 10 under a piece going to the 11th. Unfortunately, Faldo dropped a shot at that 10th hole and he's back to five under and five behind. He's playing a one hour and the reason he's playing that is this fairway really bottlenecks the further you go down it. He can't reach the green into the wind. He's 260 to the front of the green. So he's playing for position. Nicely positioned, dead centre, leaving him uh, some 90 yards, perhaps, from the flag. Oh, Price did find that bunker on the left-hand side. No, he didn't. He was just short of it. It's all that great divot fly. He just played a six iron. He was underneath the lip of the bunker, so he didn't risk taking a straighter face club, but he's bumped it up over the top. Fred Couples has hit a superb tee shot down the 13th hole. He's four under par. He's got it to within what's either a sand iron or a pitching wedge, a gentle shot. Might a lazy, easy style this young man has, and he does play some fantastic golf shots, and that's another of them. My goodness, he's not out of the championship yet. His fourth shot here at the par 5 11th. Joint leader with Nick Price at 10 under par. Oh, he hits it. oh, I say, that was a killer. Oh, I say, a birdie for Severiano. Goes to 11 under. Oh, Price with the putt you see there to match Seve's birdie. Oh, 
Oh, he was after it. Didn't drop. And so the lead goes to Ballesteros. With just seven holes left to play. Fred Couples at the 13th, the birdie. And nicely done. He goes to five under. At the 12th hole, Sandy Lyle, who's struggling really today, he's got this for a par. And you see, he's, he's really lost heart a bit. He's going backwards, he's pedaling backwards. He was six under after seven holes, and now he's only three under. A very disappointing day for the Scot. Ballesteros in his navy blue sweater, his Open Championship winning sweater. It's getting old now. Yeah, he's leaning just a touch. Is it going to the right? Oh dear. See how he conjures this one. Get up, get up, get up. Really a quite beautiful shot. He couldn't go any more right in case he got a funny kick towards the bunker. And he really did a, a smashing job there. Uh, Nick Fowler could. Uh, Sorely do with a few birdies. Slick green, this one. See the pace on that ball, my goodness. And he's got one. <laughs> he's waited a long time, but he's got it. And he goes back to six under, so he's, he's defending his championship in great style. He's not given it up yet. hold a, ma a monster at the last hole. This one is only about six feet, but every bit is important. Um, well, there you are. The first shot that he's dropped today in a, an absolutely fantastic display of golf. And all because he took a four iron, and I think most people were playing twos at this hole. And he thought he could conjure up some sort of fancy tee shot, which went wrong for the first time. So a shot dropped, and he goes back. Back to 10. Price, a shot of 90 yards, and very much a question of judgment. It's only a three-quarter shot. Alasteris has had a good long walk and peered right at the whole length of this green. Fantastic stretch. And that, well, that would have been an eagle. That would have taken him two in front. He's certain to get a, a birdie. And for all the looking up there and the staring at it that Ballesteros has done, that has to have some effect on him. The other one is the wrong one, Sevi. You want to get close to the other one. Will anyone strike? Got to be careful you don't knock the ball with the pin as you take it out. And the shortest putt for a birdie. Then he once again regains the lead that he's had since halfway through Friday's round, with the exception of the impertinence of Ballesteros to take it from him for a short while. Five birdies and an eagle in seven holes. Xavier Ballesteros, the man who's won two Open Championships, 
locked in battle at the top of the leaderboard 11 under with Nick Price of Zimbabwe who's never won a major title Seve's second shot of the 14th and Seve's shot pulled well he's not bad actually he's stopped short of the crowds and we can see the ball sitting up and he's just level with the green uh, Nick Price joint leader Very sharp swing this man has, but very good swing. Um, a kindly bounce, he could have gone on into the forest there, but he's stopped. And you'll see what he's left himself to do. There's the flag, right hand side of the green as we look at it. Savvy hit a three iron for his second shot there, just drawing it off to the left. He actually expected to, uh, well, the wind hit it and fed it back. Uh, of the two, I think I would prefer Sebi's. Um, Nick has a bit further to go, and he also has a few tufts of grass just behind the ball. So um, I would say Sebi favourite. And that is a very good shot. He's actually gone to a straighter club. Yes, he's gone to a straighter club. That's un no, that's unusual. He gave the lofted one back, so he must have. Uh, uh, it's gone on quite a long way. <laughs> An expensive chip and miss. and leading by two when he started today and he's got this to go into a one-shot lead on his own. Would you believe it? Well, it's edgy out there. They're getting very nervous about it all. They've suddenly become a duel and it's the man who makes the most mistakes who's going to lose it. So Sevi will be breathing a big sigh of relief. He missed the putt, but he didn't lose a stroke to the leader. There's the pin just above that rise in the ground. Nick Price, his second shot. Oh, four right. And I think that might have hit a foot or something. Yeah, there he is, just on the edge of the fairway. Pin, you can see, just over the horizon. Just seven. Now right on line, and the approaches to these greens really quite soft after all the rain of at the weekend, and uh, well very little advantage as he gained over Nick Price. Nick Price from the front edge. But has he hit that hard enough? Oh, and he's left himself a putt very like the one both he and Ballester has missed at the last. So Ballester is his third shot at the 15th. Perfect strength. Interesting. He's going to get this one in the hole, although I feel he would be. Must be almost standing on Price's line. The four, and he stays at ten under. And now it's up to Price to hold his, well, for a half, let's say, because that's what it's now become a match. Edge, but it's in the hole, and still this championship is tied. Three holes left to play, and both Price and Ballesteros, ten under par. Uh, 
And it looks as if uh, Savvy's got the, a very good line in to the green. Just a very lofted club. Wind from the left. Blowing across the hole from, well, probably eight, half past eight, nine o'clock. Certainly one that Seve will remember all his life. When he won here in 79, he got a three when, well, he might have taken five. And now he's just inches away from the hole. What a moment to produce a stroke like that. And now Nick Price, who really has played marvellously well. It's only 12, 14 feet or so away from the hole. Well, the 16th green, Seve is only, well, an inch away. An inch or two inches away. What a moment to get a birdie. 11 under, the leader. Two holes left and he's ahead, but Price will have a putt to match him. That's one of the worst cuts he's hit, he was really running at the hole. And he was up and away, and that's a sign of nerves. The steward's asking the crowds just to hold their places, hold still. And this isn't dead. This is longer than the putt Faldo missed on the first green yesterday. Yes, well done. He gets his four, but he's one behind Seve. And it'll be interesting to see where they drive at the 17th. Remember, the wind's from the right and all the troubles down the left. That will do very nice. Picked it up and placed it, he wouldn't have put it anywhere else. Don't shout of applause. Or, oh gosh. He'd probably be perfectly okay, the ground well trampled there. And it didn't appear to ricochet. We'll just, now, where are they round? It hit somebody and run right back over there. Now, Clive, what's the situation? Out of bounds, free drop, what have we got? Uh, I think it's going to be a free drop. I've uh, had a quick word with the rules man, and uh, he said it's a free drop for um, uh, unusual ground conditions. Um, not quite sure what you make of that one, Bruce. <laughs> He's chased it up and on, that's 230 yards, that's a tremendous shot. Got it on the front of the green, a long way from the hole, but uh, with the way he's been putting, we must assume he's going to get a four, so Ballesteros has to hit it onto the green. Middle of the green, that's what he's aiming at, and I think he likes it. Short of the green, right hand. into the heart of the green but many a slip it's cup and lip now the worst he must do is to get down in two putts keep the pressure on and I think he'll think back to the little putt he had to take the outright lead at the 14th should he fail to win this and that was the moment he had a chance you don't get many when Ballesteros is in form Excellent, lovely putt. Certain four, 
In fact, of course, Seve is 11 under par, so of course he's 6 under today. He started at 5 under. And you can bet your bottom dollar that Ballesteros reckons he's, he's going to give this a chance. Get it! Up for a three. Four and he's bound to go up the last with a one-stroke lead. Uh, this is it, Ballesteros' final hole. If they tie, there'll be a four-hole playoff. If they're still level, it'll be sudden death. <laughs> Did we see it bob up? Missed the bushes here. Um, but they, oh, well, he was anxious for a moment, but the gods are with him. Oh, I bet his little heart is thumping. Now Price has to do exactly the same thing, just compose his thoughts, good swing. He really has played very well. We tend to forget that what an experienced player he is, because we don't see him here very often. But that's a, a lovely drive, beautifully played. Savvy so with 170, the ball setting up extremely well. I think, Peter, the only danger here is he's so um, got so much adrenaline flowing, it would be very easy to get a flyer. Well, we've seen that with Gary Player up against the clubhouse wall. One good thing, if you thump it hard enough, you get you might bounce back off the clubhouse. It looked to be a smooth rhythm. Well over the back. And just into all the cameras. Yeah, just chase the cameraman out with the pace of play now. I'm surprised there aren't a few people there with their easels and paints. Now, oh, Price, from the perfect position, Seve by no means certain of getting down in two, so come on, Nicholas. Oh, does he like it? Not so sure. Is, is he hoiked it? Is he hit it too hard? He's hoiked it a bit. He's found that it just rolling. No, it stopped, but you can see, really not threatening the hole. Yes, listen to this one. the familiar charge up the 18th fairway and just uh, up to nicely done this year no the players not being jostled about and the crowd just moving in behind to watch the final chipping and putting and Seve's ball oh it's not too bad but it's nestled a bit He's sitting down, doesn't it? That's not so, not quite as inviting as it might have been. Now, very easy to slide the club under the ball and just not give it enough. But not when you Ballesteros. <laughs> Oh, how'd you like a that, said you? Well, I know Mr. Alex Hay likes it because he had an, um, a 
an unhealthy sum of money on him and he managed to get more odds than anyone else so he's chucking away like a maniac well played Savvy that really was a master so but it ain't over yet now Price must be all of 45 feet this to tie He had really nothing to lose. He wasn't going to be beaten for second place. <laughs> well, he had a race at it. Three putted the last. Took five. Under 69 today. And Ballester, as he's almost uh, looked over as one of ours. In she goes. 65 strokes. Seve is once more the champion. As usual, you made it pretty exciting for us. Tell us about that little shot there, the third shot here at the 18th. Well, first of all, I just uh, like to say that uh, it's pity that I didn't find any cars on the 16th fairway this time. <laughs> um, unfortunately, the RNA, they should, uh, they should park their cars next time on the fairway because I'm, I'm becoming a very straight player now. <laughs> and, uh, well, on the last hole, uh, you know, I, I, just, I was just aiming to the left or... Of the pen because you know it's, it's a lot of trouble on the right and um, uh, I didn't try to miss that far left and um, <laughs> and the lie I must say it was it was very uh, very difficult and, uh, <laughs> and <laughs> but somehow the ball was close to the hole enough to win so and I'm this, very pleased. This obviously is a very emotional moment for you because it was here in '79 you won the Open for the first time. Well, I just I just uh, want to say that uh, to come to Lidang you know, after the uh, nine years when I won uh, in 79, the only difference, you know, I, I just wear in the same clothes, white shoes and <laughs> blue pants and uh, blue sweater and white shirt. And uh, the only difference is that I'm nine years older. And um, apart from that, I think that um, it was really nice to be back to Lidan. And I must say that uh, thanks to you all people, because without your support, I don't think I would be a champion right now. Thank you. Sabe, thank you very much. So the magic of Seve Ballesteros, missing from the major championships for four years, has come alive at Royal Lydon. The courage of Nick Price urged him to great things. Between them, they made this a memorable opening.